Time for My Boat. Energy management on board, especially with your 12-volt system, is often critical. One of the biggest draws on your house batteries is often the galley refrigerator. Now, Energy Star efficient appliances abound for your house, so this week on My Boat, we're going to delve into energy efficient refrigeration for marine applications. The first task was to remove the old Norcold refrigerator freezer from its recessed position in the galley by removing the flange mounting screws and the top cover. Using towels to protect the galley sole, Bob McConnell, the boat's owner, and I slid the old unit out so we could then unplug the 120 volt AC power and cut the 12 volt supply wires. We were fortunate that Bob's Trojan International had a wide enough salon entrance that we were able to remove the old refrigerator without dismantling it. Before loading the new Novacool refrigerator freezer aboard, we had a look at it dockside. The key difference between the units that is visible is the cleaner and more compact insulation of the Danfoss compressor and condenser under the unit, not behind. This allows for improved ventilation due to the open front with a fan to circulate cooling air over the condenser. This unit clearly has improved cooling efficiency. Bob had checked the size specifications prior to ordering the new Novacool refrigerator, but once we had the new refrigerator on board, the measurements were checked again to confirm that some modifications to the cabinet, both for height and depth, would be required. While the width was spot on, measurements for the taller new unit had to be transferred to the cabinetry and the opening enlarged with a jigsaw. Prior to sliding the refrigerator into position, we first removed the lower grill to access both the DC and AC power inputs. Next, the doors had to be removed and the hardware swapped over to the left hand side to reverse the door swing. Next, the 12 volt power wires from the source were stripped back and more wire added to extend its length. Remember to use marine grade wire and connectors of the correct gauge for the job and to protect the connections with heat shrink tubing. With the wiring prep, the new unit was brought into position. The AC cord plugged in and the 12 volt wiring fed through under the fridge for connection later and the fridge was pushed back into place in the cabinet. To complete the wiring, male and female spade connectors were crimped onto the source and fridge wires so the 12 volt power could be disconnected in the future. With the refrigerator powered up on 12 volts, our voltmeter showed a peak load of 5.8 amps for the new Danfoss compressor versus the old refrigerator's 10 amps. This load translates into a daily power consumption of 33.6 amp hours on the house batteries versus 120 with the old refrigerator. With everything powered up, our last task was to install a matching wood collar around the new unit to fill the gap due to its increased depth and install the flange mounting screws. Replacing your boat's old refrigerator is not that difficult of a task. In just a few hours, Bob and I were able to remove the old refrigerator and replace it with this new high efficiency one that has reduced the load on the boat's house batteries by upwards of 60%.